Welcome back to my film and TV channel and a love a look at UK Freeview TV. See what's back for a new series or what's brand new, shiny and new. I think there's a, a little bit on Glastonbury this week because that's starting. Never, not that I've never been, I've ever been. My, a couple of my kids have been and really love it. But uh, I think I'm a bit long in the tooth for that now, to be, to be fair. But we're going to be in the company today of TV Choice. So we're going to have a look at uh, TV Choice. We're going to look at what's on. Uh, from the 17th to the 23rd of June, soon be July. So it obviously covers covers Father's Day, this one, doesn't it? I mean, it'll soon be my birthday. I won't tell you when, but, uh, yeah, so because uh, it's close to my birthday, I always tell my lot to do something for Father's Day and my birthday combined. I'm a, I'm a fool. I could get two lots of things, but I say don't bother. But, hey, that's me all, that's me all over. All right, we're going to have a look at this. Please, if you are new to the channel and enjoy this, please push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, as well as these information blogs. I do film and TV reviews. Try and have a bit of fun. Try to give you other people's opinions on those other on reviews, etc. as well. It's not just all about what I think. It's what the people are thinking and how, how I think what I think of other people, what they think. So that, that's what it is. But this is purely me going through the magazine, telling you what's, what's new and what's back to watch. So uh, enjoy it. You can give us a thumbs up. Uh, I'll be very, very grateful. Right, here we go. We'll start a Saturday, shall we? It's always the best place to start on a Saturday to a Friday uh, listing thing, isn't it? We'll go over to BBC Two, and we got Troop in the Colour is early on BBC One. But you just want to watch the highlights. Uh, 6, 10 on uh, BBC Two. Pomp and pageantry to mark the King's birthday performed by British Commonwealth uh, Service personnel from Horse Guards Parade in London. So there you go, we want to watch that. Uh, 8.25, a little bit later on, you've got George Michael at the BBC. Yes, George, uh, yeah, yog, yog to his friends. I've, I've not heard that one before. It was one of Britain's biggest best loved and most acclaimed musical stars. This collection of appearances is from the Beebs archive, so if you fancy watching that, ITV World 7 o'clock Capitals Summertime Ball. So, you've got a bit of music. Uh, you've got uh, uh, people I've never heard of, to be honest with you. Most of them, Cal oh, I've heard of Calvin Harris, Niall Horan. Uh, I thought he said uh, Anton Deck then. RDs, Tom, Tom, Tom Grennan, Joel Curry, Jack Jones. All lists of uh, loads of them. Highlights of the concert at Wembley Stadium. So, Capitals Summertime Ball. So, that's your bag. Get along and watch that. Channel 5. 8.25, you got a documentary on Birds of a Feather, 30 Years of Laughs. They've not been doing series for 30 years, but they've been around, so if you want to watch a celebration of that sitcom, you, you can. On to Sunday, 10 o'clock, BBC Two. We love Glastonbury, so there you go. We're preparing for it before the famous five-day festival begins. Celebrity fans recall their favourite moments from over the years. Yes, so I probably won't be tuning in, but if you like it, you watch it. Van der Volt's back, yes, ITV1, 8 o'clock, 1 of 3, Freedom in Amsterdam, Return of the Crime Drama, starring Mark Warren as the eponymous, I think that's what they call him, Dutch detective. I used to like the old Van der Valk. This one's not bad. But, yeah, it's not. It'll be on. I'll record it, and then when I've got nothing else better to do, I'll, I'll watch it. Channel 5, 9 o'clock. A Country Life for the, Half the Price. That's Kate Humbles in this one. Kate revisits Sam and Lucy, who trades in their suburban home in Rochford, Essex, for their very own woodland in rural Suffolk. There you go, but it's, but it's full of flies and stuff like that. 10 o'clock, a new series on ITVB. Yes, over to ITVB. The Real Housewives of Miami. I don't need to say any more than that, do I really? If you want to watch that, you watch it. BBC Two, the Monday, 8.30, the Great British Railway Journey. Yes, Mr. Michael Portillo, who never travels anywhere unless he's on a train these days. One of 15, and he's back on the rails, this time exploring Britain of his youth. There you go. It's probably a lot different now, Michael. Same with BBC Two. Yes, you've got the Glastonbury Anthems. This is one of three. 10.05, uh, classic songs performed at the Worthy Farm Festival over the years. So that's getting you into the mood of Glastonbury. ICV1, 9 o'clock, Lit Venk, Lit... Lit Vinenko, yes, of course, this was on ITVX a little while back, but it's, this is now premiering on ITV1 itself, but probably most of you watched it. I've done a review of it, I'll, if, I've, if I've got it, 
please check out uh, on YouTube. I've done a review of this one back in the day. Of course, it's a fact-based drama told over four consecutive evenings starring David Tennant as the assassinated ex-Russian ex -Russian spy, Mr Litvienko. Channel 4, 10 o'clock, The Wonders of the World I Can't See. That's a shame, isn't it? One of four blind comedian Chris McCorsland explores some of the world's most iconic landmarks, discover things that the ordinary travel might miss. Uh, could be interesting, very interesting, yeah. Uh, say you just don't, I mean, you go with, with, I was recently in Istanbul, what, looking at, you know, and how can you fully, if you're with someone or a friend, to describe something to you? Um, I suppose there are little things that, that you don't realise, but so it could be interesting. On to Tuesday, the 20th of June, we've got BBC One 1040 Richard Dimbleby lecture with David Harewood. So on the 75th anniversary of the ship em empire, Windrush arriving in the UK from Jamaica, actor David Harewood explores the challenges that were overcome by his parents' generation and considers their legacy through his own journey of self identity there you go the old wind rush gets a mention every now and again doesn't it in over time bbc two eight o'clock your home made perfect so uh yeah we're going over to north london for this one as uh, angela scanlon hosts an architect will foster and julian mackintosh compete to remodel a 1920 semi a lot, a lot of them a lot of them houses in london need doing up uh been to Wembley many times and some of them Worth a fortune, but uh, not very, not very uh, made up, not very, not very pleasant. But say, uh, that's so, uh, who am I to quibble about how people live? Ten o'clock on Channel Four, Doctor Death. Yes, I think this has been on a, a streaming thing as well. I'm sure it has a drama based on the real life case of criminality, dangerous U.S. neurosurgeon Doctor Christopher Dunch, who Joshua Jackson stars in that. So if you like, want to watch a bit of Doctor Death. There you go, ITV4, staying with Tuesday the 20th of June. You've got Frankie de Tora, a Royal Ascot love affair. Yes, because it's as well as Glastonbury, it's Royal Ascot, isn't it? So you like a bit of Frankie. A bit of, I liked a bit of racing back in the day, not, not so much now. On to Wednesday the 21st of June, there she goes. Uh, return. This is a one-off, just a one to return of the comedy drama. So I used to like this about a family whose daughter has learning difficulties. Yes, uh, it sounds, sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? But it, it is funny. It's sort of black humour, very, very funny. Channel 4, 10 o'clock, The Change, parts 1 and 2. Comedy about 50-year-old mum of two, Linda, played by Bridget Christie, who's told what she thought was early-onset dementia is actually the menopause. Well, that's probably good news, but probably probably not for her, uh, how she was. 21st of June, Wednesday, staying with that. Got 9 o'clock, The Vikings. Yeah, not, nothing to do with Mr Douglas in this one. Uh, this is Invasion, one of three, over, over three consecutive nights. Dr Zand Van Tuchen and archaeologist Rakesha Dave, Dave tell the story of an invasion of England by a group of Norwegians. Well, we've got one, at, we've got one at my football club, the, the Nordic Meat Shield. I'm, I'm glad he invaded, I'm very happy. BBC Three on Wednesday the 21st of June. Uh, you've got, uh, uh, I can't even read that one, the writing's too small. 9, 9.50, you've got Man Eater. It's just a little short story about someone, every time a, whistle, uh, uh, a female gets whistled at, she turns into a werewolf. It's about eight minutes, so uh, you can probably give that a watch as well. Uh, BBC Four, Stephen Polyakoff remembers she's been away. The, the writer looks back at the 1989 drama that he did. A bit of culture there for you. On W as well, you've got a new series, Katie Piper's Jailhouse Mums. One of five meets, Katie meets pregnant inmates at uh, Count, Cobb County Jail. There you go. So uh, it happens, doesn't it? Unfortunate, but that's how it is. On to Thursday, the 22nd of June, we've got Windrush, Portraits of a Generation. Again, back to Windrush, making 75 years since that boat's come in. Of course, uh, that's another look at it. 10.30, Glastonbury. Yeah, Laura Laverne and Jack Saunders. Look ahead at a pat weekend of live music at the Glastonbury Festival. That's BBC Two, 10 o'clock. Channel 5, 8 o'clock. Got Puzzling, a new quiz hosted by Lucy Worsley, in which two teams of three take on five rounds, testing language skills, calculation, lateral thinking, visual intelligence and memory. I'll, I'll smash that, no problem. I'm going to watch that. I'll get it all right, 100%. Probably not. Uh, yeah, on to staying with Thursday, a new series. Yes, on really at nine o'clock on on the twenty second of June. A one 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 thousand pound sisters, one of ten, the sweet and sour life, having survived yet another brush with death 
Tammy recovers at rehab. So yeah, well, probably, I probably will give that a miss. But if you if you if you're up to watching that, then good on you. Twenty third of June, Friday the twenty third of June. Our lives. Uh, yarn Bombers, it's knitting, hey, yeah, but not as we know it. So there you go. The Yarn Bombers, united by a passion for fluffy stuff, sneak out under cover of darkness at the door. Swansea, with their woolly creations. Oh, not a bit too warm for woolly creations, guys. Nine o'clock, yes, it's back for another series. One of seven, not going out. Yeah, so if you like old uh, Lee Mac, and I do like Sally Brenton, she's one of my favourites, but... Uh, uh, can I listen to Lee Matt to, to watch Sally Breton? I'd have to turn the volume down, wouldn't I? 10.30, Arctic Monkeys at Glastonbridge. So you want to see a bit of Arctic Monkeys. Again, ICV1, you've seen the Lit Ben Yenko. Well, this is the actual, the Mayfair Poison, 9 o'clock, the documentary behind it, in, investigating what's going on, which is always nice to see once you've seen the drama. 8 o'clock, the, the question that I think we've all asked, and I've asked it personally when I've been picking these in the shop for my customers. Uh, air fryers, are they worth it? So there you are. So you get the rundown, 8 o'clock, Channel 4, on whether they are. Channel 5, 8 o'clock, inside the Steam Train Museum. I like a bit of Steam Train Museum. In 104, documentary following me at Norfolk Bressingham Steam Museum to celebrate 60 years since the collection began. Yes, so I think I might try and give that a little more, a uh, little watch. And then on BBC Three on the Friday, it's all it's all Glastonbury stuff from seven thirty. So if you want to watch new stuff rather than looking forward to it, you can watch uh, all all the stuff uh, from Glastonbury starting on the Friday. So you get all the highlights. So you don't have to go and sleep in a tent, do you? You can go and, go and watch it. Well, there you go, guys. Not much on the old drama from a couple of comedy dramas returning, of course. There, but yeah, a bit disappointing for me. Uh, say, Lip Benjenko's class is a new thing, but I've, I saw it ages. It seems like yonks ago now when I saw it. But that's the thing with ITVX; you put some good stuff on it, but obviously at some stage it's going to be it's a repeat, really, isn't it? ITV. Anyway, my thanks again, TV Choice. Let us know what you're looking for to or you, you've watched recently. Anything to do with film and TV, just get, get in touch. It'd be great to hear from you. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.